Hi everyone and welcome to another colouring book review. Today we're looking at gothic colouring, colour your dark side and obviously this is going to be something that I'm really interested in because I love anything to do with horror as you'll know if you've been following me for a while. Um, so anything gothic and creepy and strange is definitely something that I would look for. Um, and this is a really, really nice book, actually. It's got some gold foil into the front. The rest of it is like a soft touch matte. And on the back, it says whether you're fascinated by the macabre or want to dive into the mystery and horror of the gothic aesthetic, start with this spooky colouring book. From gothic architecture to florals and skulls, discover the brooding nature of gothic culture with these delightfully eerie images. It has over 120 colouring pages and it's all very detailed and intricate. So that's the blurb. Let's have a look inside. So it feels like a really quality book. The papers, it's not thick, thick, but it's definitely not thin. Um, I would say that it is on the thinner side. It's not, it doesn't feel like a cardstock. It is definitely a paper. But you can see that we've got some colour pages um, here as well, so that you can see a little bit of reference for maybe what you'd want to colour. And we've got a bit of an introduction here saying one of the most recognisable parts of gothic culture is the fashion. Dark clothing, lace and velvet are all part of the gothic aesthetic. Gothic is also often associated with horror tropes in literary fiction involving ghosts and vampires. Um, and then it's talking about the Netflix show Wednesday, which I have done a little homage to in the book. I'll show you soon. So unwind and relax. Use some black, purple and red, but of course any colour nails you wish and it says go and paint your nails black and start colouring well I'm wearing my black fakies today so I have definitely done what the book requires now the book is one-sided but it does have some images on the back like um, a wallpaper pattern that you might want to colour in or you might not it's up to you but it is classed as a one-sided book so for example you can see this kind of wallpaper image on the back of each page they do vary um, but it's not something that you'd have to worry about spoiling if you wanted to use a heavier medium. So a lot of the illustrations in this book, and I am going to go fairly quickly because it's a, quite a large book, um, a lot of them are very reminiscent of tattoo flash designs. So if you were going to look for um, a neo-traditional tattoo, you might find something like this in your local tattoo parlour. And if you like colouring tattoo artwork, you will love this book because there's a lot of it in there. We've also got some very dark, heavy line work and shaded areas like this one here. Love this one because it reminds me of the Death Head Moth from Silence of the Lambs. And here's Wednesday herself. Now, obviously, they've not called her Wednesday because that would probably be copyright of some sort. But we've got a creepy looking girl with dark braids. So she's Wednesday got another moth and this one is more of a um, pattern design and here's the one that I've coloured so I wish I'd taken a photo of this page before I coloured it because it looked so completely different it didn't have the spider web on it and it was it didn't have the thick black lines it was just very it, like this on the edge here because I haven't thickened these lines that's how thick the lines were and it went all the way around in this kind of nice stained glass pattern and what I did was on this side, I thickened all of the black lines, but I left these lines alone. However, because I decided later on to go over it with white pen, the lines got thicker anyway. But this one was like a thinner side. It was all like this all the way around. I still don't know whether I did the right thing adding the white pen, but it's done now. Um, and obviously with uh, Wednesday on Netflix, if you've seen it, there is a window in Wednesday's bedroom that she shares with Enid. And half of the window on her side is black and white and creepy and Enid's side is really colourful. So that is what I did with this mandala. I decided to make it into this cobweb window from Wednesday. Now in the background, there are some skulls, which you can still see. Uh, but this was completely white background and I just blacked it out because for one, I didn't really feel like colouring every single skull on the back of the page. And also I think it creates a really cool it kind of looks a bit damask, so it looks like maybe some of those wallpapers that had like velvet skulls on and things. I actually quite like how you can still see the skulls showing through the black. Um, so yeah, did it with Copic markers, had a really good time doing it, added my cobweb on there, so it looks just like the, the window. And I think that's a good idea for this book actually. There's my little bit 
on the back. Not a lot came through, to be honest, so it is quite good paper for markers. I definitely would still put something on the back. Obviously, these are the edges, but um, you can't really see anything showing through. So, yeah, it's quite absorbent paper for markers, which is funny because it's not actually that thick, but good anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's what I think this book is really good for because a lot of the images seem somewhat like kind of generic designed clip art um i'm not that's not to say that these haven't all been hand drawn because i'm sure a lot of them if not all of them have been drawn like on a tablet or whatever you can tell that this one's been hand drawn um but with i love this tarot but with some of them being more generic images like say this one um it gives you scope to think outside the box and do something different with it. Like that one that I coloured of the Wednesday window was a simple mandala. And I just thought, what? how can I, how can I change this and make it unique? I love this. It kind of reminds me of Bewitched. Do you remember that old programme, Bewitched? Um, so yeah, it's just finding ways to make some of these generic images look a little bit different, a little bit more unique. So this is all i think this is a what do they call this it's on the it's the thing the planchette isn't it yeah sometimes i have to just find my words you should be used to me by now and we've got a rib cage and a heart with flowers love this one again very dark line art very tattoo style so as i said i'm going to be quite quick going through these i've got some of this architecture that features on a few of the pages Another one in that bewitched style. A couple of skeletons in love. This one's interesting. Beanie hat wearing kind of weird creature that you can see the teeth of. <laughs> Don't think there's a name for that. Probably zombie or something. Uh, this is very much a tattoo design. What with the, um, the scroll where you'd have text. This is a nun. Very creepy. That would be good with some stained glass effect in the background as well. And then, um, again, very tattoo-ish, but this one is is quite a hand-drawn. Um, yeah, it looks it looks quite hand-drawn and a little bit... The, the lines aren't completely straight and perfect, as you would imagine them to be, um, if it was a digital piece of art. We've got another moth. So some of the themes are recurring throughout the book. You've got Wednesday-esque character again. And then we've got the raven, so very um very much like Edgar Allan Poe inspired this one's a bit creepy it's like the Illuminati sign um this is some kind of hybrid creature she's got horns and she's got slitted eyes we've got a close-up of a planchette and then a creepy hairless cat with three eyes and an inverted cross on the nose as well it's quite satanic and then more gothic architecture this one is really nice it reminds me of the book that i reviewed yesterday by creative cara um all the constellations and things in the hair we've got a plague doctor which my son is going as this year for halloween a couple of gargoyles in front of a big cathedral window and a wallpaper image of some skulls embedded into roses big thick dark moth We've got some fungus growing out of a black, black tipped fingered hand. Is it is a black tipped finger? Is that something to do with witchcraft? I think it is. A uh, skull with roses. This looks like a potion or perfume bottle. Love the crucifix stopper. Another intricate moth. This one's got some geometrical design to it as well. And the witch girl again. And we've got a cat. I don't know. Oh, there is some architecture behind the cat, but I don't know. It's kind of contained into this pill shape. And again, I think this must be the same illustrator that did the one that I said looked really hand-drawn. It almost looks like it's been done with a toothpick and ink. It's got the India ink sort of feel to it. Uh, another girl, this one's got, it's, it's got a lot of area for you to do blends on the hair for sure. So if you can think of something cool and unique to do in that blank space, that will be good. Another moth. So again, just recurring themes, the three-eyed cat. Recurring themes, but not um, duplicate pages. They're all different. A couple of 
couple of ravens. This one's very strange. So it's the cat. We've got two suns and then um, like crystals. Oh, it's not a cat, is it? It's a bat. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bat. I saw that face and I thought it's a cat, but it's not. Uh, we've got crystals and then obviously on the bat wings, you can see we've got some stars. And we've got the three-eyed lady with angel wings. A raven on top of the skull. This would be a cool tattoo. More architecture. We've got a girl with half a shaven head. Some star and moon tattoos as well. We've got hands with a planchette. And this one was um, one that I was going to colour if I didn't do the Wednesday window because I really like this. I like the fact that it's a full page and it looks like an old illuminated illustration that you might find. And I love Plague Doctor aesthetic anyway. <laughs> We've got the Bewitched Girl again. And that is the end of the book. So it is published by Quarto Publishing and it comes out in the UK on Thursday of this week, which is the 5th of October. So it's out just in time for Halloween. Now I have had a look on... Um, Amazon US and it's saying that there isn't uh, any options to buy at the minute. If you go on to buying options, it comes up that you can order it between October the 19th and November the 3rd, but it's got a delivery charge. So I don't know whether it's coming over from the UK or where it's actually coming from, but it doesn't look to be um, available, you know, um, readily on Amazon US but Amazon UK it's £7.35 as of today and it's pre-ordered for delivery on Thursday so there you go um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this book I really enjoy colouring the window and I'll enjoy creating something different out of the images in this book in the future so links in the description to order let me know what you think and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire